Hello, friends. Welcome to episode three of our series, playing as our f good friend George Wallace. Um, right now we're just having him, of course, do his thing. Right now he's U.S. citizen, of the state in the union, facing this tree. And then we're gonna go down the American education system. Um, and then of course that's where it's the idea. And then we will, of course, move down to taking back. We're, not, we're, doing, we're doing pretty decent, though. We're doing pretty decent. To increase MPP unity. Um, of course, that's great. Organic units. Uh, let's go with air support. Uh, I mean, safe choice is always great. I mean, so we're doing pretty decent actually. Death of Emperor Asian Guardian Pui. A name lost to the history books. Indeed, indeed. So, sorry if I'm not talking well, I'm just tired right now. Anyway, so we're doing pretty decent. Um, you're assistant the state in the union. Encourage state level identification. Glorious, glorious, and good for the Georgians. We're doing pretty well, I think. We have very high support um, in a lot of places. I think we're gonna win back Mississippi from them. Tennessee, we might win back. Kentucky, we might win back. Um, I think we might win back these two. Some more there, and the South will be in our hands. Um, maybe we might win. There's some support there as well. Inside the Third Reich, a fascinating read. I honestly, I love this GUI. I absolutely adore this GUI. It's something I absolutely adore. A demand from the fear. Mr. Born, we're not giving over Spear. Goodbye. The dance part. How romantic. To our range finders. Um, there, we'll get that. Let's go for 50 to the three. So, Bar Birdie's pretty good. Restore states militia. Oh, we need anti air equipment. There we go. We gotta go for anti air. Dockyards, we'll get some convoys, I guess. Convoys are always good. Your league declared. Um. There we go, we're gonna have a giant military industry, along with civilian. 
slow down. Slow down the. Alright, let's do this. Execute. Your league fantastic. I think Wallace has a good chance of getting elected. He's fairly popular. I mean, if we just look at it, he's he's got the, he's got the support to do it. Wallace has the support. Obviously, success. Central Intelligence Agency, good for them. Best of luck to them. Fantastic. The government shall maintain segregation. To Secretary of State Wilbur Mills, he's pretty decent actually. Operation Success. Smile for the cameras. Oh, so they're gonna have to do some talks with us. Twenty-one, fantastic. The government shall maintain segregation. Well, I think we're gonna wait for that. And the dirty safe schooling is what we're gonna do right now. American protests, traitors everywhere. The assassination of Albert Speer, an insult to America. Poor Speer. Poor Speer. Another royal banquet. Um. Another royal request, um, sure, why not? Why not? You know, whatever. If they fight the Germans, we'll, we'll join them. Presidential election season's begun, it's a long way to November. Safe game right here. And we're gonna go for the NPP, fighting for you, help elect the NPP. Florida. Ooh, that's not good. The Deep South. Why is the Deep South not looking like... Ugh. Come on, Deep South. Oklahoma. Um, we seem to get some victories in a lot of places, though. The West Coast looks good. The East Coast. Let's go with the East Coast. Um... Well, yeah, let's go with the East Coast. Um, the Deep South, the East Coast. Great Lakes Southwest, let's campaign in the Central East Coast. Um, yeah, it's Central East Coast, yeah, let's do it. It'll help us.
Yoli gets to defeat Yuga. We're looking to have a lot of MPP support, and if we do have an MPP victory, um, that means we might be able to pass some of our stuff, which will be fantastic. We may get impeached, but it's okay. That's okay. There we go, let's get that. Pissy's artillery. Very safe schooling. Funding for schools. Um, what's the American education? The MPP looks to be doing really quite well. Really well, actually. in it. MPP, MPP, learning towards, there's a lot of leaning towards MPP. Um, Great Plains lean towards uh, the Great Plains. Fortunately, the Great Plains look the best. The Great Lakes looks good. Um, Southwest. Toss-up. We're gonna have a lot of toss-ups, it looks like, but we're gonna have to win the Deep South back, which is what we're gonna do. We'll win the Deep South back, I'm sure of it. We'll win. Well, we will win the deep south back. Ironic, the nation gonna save from death. Whatever. Next time the charm. Well, whatever. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna win. We're gonna win pretty decent. But I think we're. I want to make sure we get the Deep South. We cannot lose any more in the Deep South. I will not allow the Deep South to turn, or the Upper South for that matter. I will not allow either the Deep South or the Upper South to turn. Courage Patriotic Curricula. National Education Curriculum. Okay, let's campaign in the Deep South. Uh, the learn, um, 2013-27, it looks like we have enough to pass Congress, which is fantastic. We're just gonna campaign the deep south and upper south because those are the eight states I want to keep winning back. Polls up there. Let's go on the horse race. Looks like we're winning a lot of them. Georgia and Louisiana. I don't want to lose. Um, so I'm going to make sure we win the deep south.
Yeah, that's the thing. Ooh. When the Cadillo's down. Looks like Salazar is gone. Poor Salazar. So it's Franco now. With Ember's vote. There we go. Where do we admit them? Admit them, sure. Necro starts the semester through Congress. Now the children will be more patriotic. I love it. Brittany will join us, which will be fantastic. Segregate the curricula. Put God back in schools. Oh, and gives Angola its independence. Oh well, I thought I didn't know they were already independent, but whatever, they're still in the faction. Let's campaign in the. Let's campaign in the. Hmm. We're gonna win. Um. Hmm. Tilt. So that's tilt in the Great Lakes. Uh, the Great Plains tilt towards an RD, but there's a couple of toss-ups, um, which we might win. The Great Plains, um, hmm. The Upper South, I think we gotta, we gotta go, we gotta go for the Upper South is where we gotta go. The Upper South cannot fall. So, we're not, we're not doing too bad. We're doing pretty decent, actually. Um, put God back in schools. I encourage you to follow the southern states. So, let's do that. By God in heaven, they ate it up. I think we're going to win in a lot of places. Especially the the South. I, 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 south looks like it's going to be very good, I think. I think I have a lot of hope for the South. Free dockyards. Kitty Hawk class. Sure, why not? Oh, well, we got another one. We can just go for it. Oh, it's 50. Let's check out the horse race. Great Lakes. Oh, Michigan's a toss-up. Um, a couple of toss-ups, but I think we have a good, good, very, fr fairly decent chance of winning. I mean, the Deep South. I'm not too happy with the Deep South. Only leaning. I kind of would like it to be more confident towards my supporters. Good work, everyone. I think we're gonna change that, and I think we will support 
that will have a better chance in the upper south and the deep south. The upper south, uh, Republican Party, um, and I think we're gonna do fairly well. Um, Illinois. We're gonna win there. Win there, win there, might win there, I don't know. Uh, we could try and do the great, um, the Rockies, um, uh, oh, it's likely. The Rockies probably isn't worth it because, you know, it's all likely, so, I mean. Uh, we could do Alaska, um, California. Uh, where can we go next? Probably the... Liberal victory in Canada, liberalism, the philosophy of our time. Pierre Trudeau. Ooh, I don't like the Trudeaus. Get out of here, Mr. Trudeau. Not, not in my own event. I think that's going to help us a lot. Funding for schools. Fine carrying since 1776. Let's, let's do this. Get more war support. Let's campaign in the, well... The Great Plains are going to win a couple of them. Um, Great Lakes. The Deep South I would like to win, but... Um, New England. Hmm. Leaning, tilt, um, the East Coast. I mean, the East Coast isn't a bad idea. We could... Let's see what the Central East goes. I think we have a chance to win Pennsylvania. And I want to win Pennsylvania. I mean, it's something I want to do. Re-elected Prime Minister. Um, good for, good for Harold. On the road to freedom, what's next for states' rights? I think we have a chance to win there. I mean, not a great chance. Ash Ash from Snow Wall, Life Strives, and Strange of the Places. Um, see, but we have it. I don't, I think we have a chance. We have a chance to win Pennsylvania. I don't know about New York, but we have some, we have some decent chances. Not maybe not the most high chances, but we've we have a chance, and that's a chance we're gonna fight for. They're not happy with our segregation. Um. Then fine, we'll do we'll do more segregation. Fine, if that's what they want. Segregate the curricula. We will win the South. That is something we're gonna do. We will win the South. I think we have a chance in the South. It will, it's not the best chance, but we will win the South. That's something I'm not willing to compromise on. It's the South. The South is not something I'm willing to compromise on. The South is where our core support comes from. That's something we cannot lose. England and Scotland at war, the Isles bathed in blood once more. Invasion. So they have a chance, they have a chance. Not a great chance, but they have a chance nonetheless.
We could maybe, uh, might have been a mistake. We could have probably done some more in the, but whatever, it's fine. We'll we'll do our best. We'll compromise. We'll we'll make do with what we have. Um, we, if we do, we'll lose. Oh, we're not gonna lose. Um, nice group Republican Democratic primaries. Barry Goldwater. Good work, everyone. Gibraltar Dam officially finished. Fantastic for them. So they can really build their economy. Perhaps it might be true. Segregate the curricula. Um. Happy, they're happy, so it's good. The Great Plains, though, we got, we can't lose the Great Plains. This is something we cannot afford to lose. Because that's a bunch of senators we got from the Great Plains. Pulls up there, let's check on the horse race. The Great Plains. Um, there's a lot of toss ups. Well, the Southwest is a toss up. Upper South is a toss up. The South is leaning MPP completely, which is great. Um,. We're, I think we're going to win a bunch of seats. This is going to be, it's going to be very nice to see a bunch of seats, but. The Rockies, maybe not the best. Is there any, where is the most the Rockies? So that's where the, that's where a lot of them are. The Rockies. So if we can win the Rockies, well, the Great Lakes, the Great Plains. If we get, we need to make sure we win the Great Plains. That's somewhere we gotta do. If we can win the Great Plains, it'll be fantastic. So that's what we're gonna focus our attention on now. The Great Plains. The Great Plains will be where we win. If we can win the Great Plains, it'll be fantastic. National Center, National Progressive Primaries. Those loud cheers and celebrations the floor of Miami Beach Convention in Miami Beach, Florida is great. George Wallace says they formally accept the nomination of the MPP to run for a second term as President of the United States of America. As the first White House argument to be neither a Republican or a Democrat. Since Millard Fillmore left in 1853, it's only natural that George Wallace would get, get another crack at four more years in highest office in America. There were two primary challengers, challengers Senator Margaret Chase Smith of Maine, representing a new business-oriented faction, the far-right MPP, and the center MPP Michael Harrington, both seeking to bring the party and the nation more in line with their preferred path. However, neither won more than a handful of delegates, and the primaries were both overshadowed by the current president's popularity and leadership within the party. Now that George Wallace has secured a nomination with little in the way of opposition plans faced in a Republican Democrat and ensure that, the pa ensure that the past four years wasn't a fluke in the American public history best start of a new two-party system. Four more years. Woo! Let's go, Georgie. So we're, we're starting to get these Luckily, so it's good. Serbia sides with Italy, Czech, Germany. It's good for them. That's good for them. But they won Romania and Hungary, so it's really a c coastal pack versus giant pack now. It's really big. It's quite giant. And then Sweden allies with them. Georgie Zukov might do something eventually. Anyway. What was that? What does he look like? Oh, there he is. Dictator. Martin Luther King Jr. out assassinated the King Rights of 1968. Horrible news has just led out of Memphis, has been let out of Memphis, Tennessee, just after six in the evening. Civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot while talking about the colleagues of Balcony, Lauren Mill, and St. Joseph, while his tragedy is more Protestant issue, rights all sons and daughters, extremism growing in America. Ooh, so now Frank to serve Park Eye and Burgundian system.
fifties, sure. Fine trading since seventeen seventy six. Funding for schools. Um, let's go. Um, foreign businesses. Fighting tyranny. At least the MPP fights for America. Someday, images from funerals. Someday. We're gonna campaign the Rockies and the Great Plains. This is gonna be our main area we campaign in. work everyone fantastic that's absolutely fantastic the great plains might lean towards us more now which i hope which is i hope we do do well in the great plains well i think we might go abroad well, never mind. That was kind of a mistake. And we got to gain some political power now. Um, let's campaign in the. Well, if we campaign the Rockies, it's only a tilt. Um, it's likely though. There's a couple of tilts, but the Great Plains, you do the Great Lakes, um, the Southwest. Um, I think we could. We're gonna secure. A lot, but the Great Lakes is something. Well, the Southwest is something we could secure the Upper South, or we could secure New England. The Deep could secure the East New New England. Leaning, let's try and get New England. New England are now. Well, the Rockies isn't a bad. We're not going to win the Rockies, but we might be able to win one or two more seats. It's not great, but. It's something better than better than nothing. Two miles want a space Aussie. My, it's full of stars. Nice, hundred percent now. Pulls up there. Let's take on the horse race. Deep South toss up again in the deep South. Are you kidding me? Oh my, this is not going our way. Um. Um, let's go to the beginning of this month because I am gonna have to win the deep. We're gonna have to win the deep south again. No, I don't want to have to win the deep south again. The deep south just needs to lean our way. <laughs> uh, the deep south is not going our way. The deep south is not going our way. Which is not. This is not the best. Um. Just get all these. The Yankee school right now fighting funding for schools. Broad. Then we can go for. It's always tilt, which is. I guess we can get the upper south. We're gonna have to make sure we win the upper south. Um, or the southwest. We're not losing the southwest. We can do some funeral someday. We're gonna win back to the southwest. Arizona, we're, we're going to win the Southwest. We're not losing the Southwest, and we're also going to win the Upper South and the Deep South. Those are the three main places we're going to focus on. Saw an MPP campaign. Fantastic.
Let's campaign the south west. My mine's full of stars. Balls are updated. It's a toss up. Well, I think we're gonna win barely. Upper south, we're gonna we're gonna make sure it's not at least a toss up there. Why is this? Is it because we uh, they could be happier, I guess. Um, let's go with Yankee School Rant. We're gonna win the South. Free of the people. The voters side with Wallace. So hopefully that will help us a little bit. Get some enthusiasm up. Oh, poor Scotland. Poor Scotland. England defeats Scotland. You know what cost. The important thing is not what they think of me, but what they think. But what I think of them. How terrible. Huzzah for the MPP. That's fantastic. Now we're going to campaign in the Upper South. Well, let's campaign in the Deep South because that will help us get a lot more support. Let's campaign again in the deep south. We're making that a safe place, the deep south. Increase MPP unity. Let's go with um, domestic preparedness. Well, now let's go with um, foreign business. Yankee school ring. I cannot segregate alone. Well. That's great. Southern states are going to give us the support we need. Possibly. Um. Toss up. Looks pretty good. Um. Toss up. There's a lot of toss up in the Great Lakes. Toss up in the Great Plains. Toss up in Wyoming. The Rockies looks likely safe. Um. The West Coast, we're gonna tilt. Ooh, that's not good if it was. No, it's, it's losing the MPP Center. That's not a big deal. Um, we can lose the MPP Center. I'm still gonna want to get the West Coast, but yeah, my K 
campaign of the West Coast. Um. Ten days, we're gonna we're gonna get it through. We'll win the south. Some person, how old man, Calvert Murder, that anyway. A solid MPP campaign, which is looking good. We're gonna win the South. We're gonna win a lot of seats. I think we're gonna win a lot of seats. I think it's gonna be a very safe victory. Very, very good. I think it's gonna be, very, think it's gonna be pretty good. Warning, how close it goes. Last three Senate elections, everyone can hear the TV. Election Day 1968, more than a year of announcements and debates and speeches rise to come to November 5th, 1968, with Election Day millions of Americans aligned with school gymnasiums and libraries. Civil centers and fire stations across the nation fill their civic and democratic duty this year. Marks the 46th quad quad quadrennial presidential election, where there are also 21 state gubernatorial elections for the states, governors, 34 Senate races, and all 435 Senate House of Representatives. Um, and many other local state elections for mayor, councilors, sheriffs, and judges across the nation. However, the presidential elections where everyone was turning to the TV radio and learning about the polls the Senate closes the votes they can report and the clearly was sitting in the White House for experience, President Wallace. Uh, it's just everyone can the TV, representatives from the National Progressive Party College and Public House, so someone be waiting to reveal. We won a lot of seats. We did not win everything, but we won, we won a lot. The MPP's growing a lot. Which I'm happy about. Barry Goldwater. Fortunately, we did not have Mississippi and Tennessee, but we did gain a lot of seats. Honestly, we did gain a lot. Not as many in New Hampshire, but Illinois and these places, Ohio. We're building a central coalition, which is great. Which is great. We're going to save here because we have a lot of seats now. We can probably pass through a lot of things. Now, the first thing we're going to pass through is we're going to force to fully segregate transport. Which don't support, but, you know, it's what George would have done. And we do what George would have done, so. Once we lost support in California, but... View election results. Thirty two far right, three no, four. Hmm. We don't have enough to really get it through, unfortunately, but we'll say we did it. Coming race, Democratic Party. We gained five more seats. This isn't a lot, but it's something. It's definitely something. Senate elections rules are in. Let's check on the horse race. How to the chief over it may be. Fortunately, the Republicans don't back us in at all, so that's sad. Uh, motion detector, pictogram, hollow coins, um,
free civilian factories. Get the deep south. Close over transport dam, crooks as tradition. Well, I don't care if they see me as incompetent. Because segregation is the American way. Segregation is the American way. So George Hall is going to try and push through anyway. Oh, Gus Hall is popular. More pro pro about as popular as um, uh, Henry M. Jackson, actually. There we go. Production, Kitty Hawk class, 1970. Second nation now, Dixie Stand. How large is our navy, actually? I want to see how large our navy is. We have 726 ships. Carrier's 28. Um, at least she's good. The second largest in the U.S. president. Four years ago, it seemed nothing about George Wallace today, triumphantly. Crowds of Chinese segregation was secured a second term. First administration, the MPP fire ban, child's victory is proof of America truly on his side, proudly declaring segregation will never end as long as he's in charge. It's already divided America looks to become over more of the edge. Wallace presses ahead in his agenda, continuing to clamp down civil rights legislation, further corporate dealings on the table. While presidents and enemies may look exhausted from years of fighting and setbacks, it's certainly they will not go quietly. At least he's good for business. <laughs> the end of the Civil Rights Act. We lost some support to Gus Hall. Gus Hall gained some support. Register voting. So Gus Hall might do something, my actually. <laughs> We're gonna get it passed. I don't know if we get it passed, but we'll try. What's our popularity? It's 33%, not the best, unfortunately. Um, time to save America. Beach Boys found murder. What kind of monster would do such a thing? Well, we're going to make sure that we get it passed. We're going to do every little thing we can to do get it passed. Anyway. Let's, 
What's private discussions in Congress? Slaughterhouse 5 and so it goes. So we are hopefully going to, oh well, let's do this. Convince lobbyist. How the Germans respond, the Stockholm opening. I bear an abolishing the Iberian Council. Once the next um, Germans agreed to hotline. Uh, direct line. We made history. Sure, that's great. For Russian Eastern, um, interesting news. President says this morning after his promise to regional anarchy, Grand Prince and Central Siberian, Central Re Siberian region. Um, I think the best thing to do is who the Grand Prince ability of S Central Siberia. Yeah, Let's do them. in Congress. We're getting here to some of all fears. Broken air, the Germans send a flotilla. Um, no, we're not gonna allow this. Good for the American society, I guess. black voters if we can get the 18 democrats to vote for a bill we have a chance but we need some republicans unfortunately we can barely pass it with democrats but i don't know if every democrat's gonna vote for a bill
there we go. The entire nation will be nice and industrialized. Your black voters. 13 Democrats. Forget the 18 Democrats. We have 18, 40. Barely be able to pass it. Well. Saudi volunteers. Thank, thank God they caught him. So I'll bust. We shall overcome fire to the fuel. Incredible sight. Oman is looking fun. It's looking having a blast in Oman, you know. Keeping. Twenty of the eighteen Democrat. Well, I don't know how twenty of them support us, but these speeches throughout the country. How do how do twenty? 20 of the 18, how do 20 of the 18 Democrat senators support, I don't know how that works, but math, friends. Math, apparently. Concerning the ports. Um, sure, I guess I'll know. I don't know who's our friend, and I don't know who's our ally, but.
this quarry. Woodstock far out. Campaigning for the appeal. Finally, time has come for him. We can collaborate with his cabinet. Regards for two lights. The are a better society than the United States. Wallace's pacing his office ran through the ideas in his head. Vice President LeMay finally came through the door and began there. What took you so long, Curtis? Wallace asked, fidgeting. When, when his desk gathering your reports you wanted, Sir LeMay said. So he dropped them all on the desk. Yes, just what Wallace wanted. The president eagerly flashed a toothy grin towards what he saw. The red circles drawn around several states and a county. These, sir, are the prime states to focus on. If we initiate such a campaign in the South, South being the most sympathetic to such a cause, thus we most beneficial to start up the start support heading out to different areas. Waiting this friend, Wallace let a slow laugh grab some master records, image possible future ahead of him dancing his mind. The Civil Rights Act burned out the American law forever, allowing him to pursue every bit of the punishing legislator he wished to create against the blacks. Those degenerates have been plaguing this country for so long with only damned few words that tear apart was long oh, for Wallace thought, but then dreams of war. What if too, that's too much? What risk of riot and protest and daring them largely to pay this America? Don't worry about such notions of equality and fairness. Those bastards were dug in, but Wallace threw about how just how entrenched he would become fight back. He had wars to literally metaphorically handle a few protests from criminals. Um, Sir LeMay said them something in inner circles from the president seems. How much are they worth? Uh, let's click that. I want to see. I want to see what happens. Oh, well. means everything. Well done, gentlemen. Begin the Dixie. ZZ, this is gonna be a piece of cake. President Ho Chi Minh. Well, let's go back here. I want to see what happens if we do click the other one. So if we do lose the political power, we take the other one. I wonder. We can survive without all of this. in the Dixie. That's the President Ho Chi Minh. Campaign the West. Moving up in the world. Um, hmm. Treat himself to some favorite foods in the whole world. Celebrate his journey through the south. He began days who can join himself, knock at the door, and present come in. And curse him into the Oval Office. Sorry about the interruption. I that we're gonna have to start work. By the rest of the campaign, Wallace nodded fruitlessly. Wallace will wipe his hair off his face. Mr. Penn, we've signed reports from the cave within the south. Reports indicate approval ratings as regards. Have jumped tremendously before. However, this is where things point out from the present wall span that the only way to head entirely south would be enough to get their appeal, though they need to expand two areas where not gonna be easy to get. 
options will be northeastern United States heading westwards. We would have some issues. We would have some issues there. Let me. The Northeast has some strong liberal shitheads around the region. Each one constantly pissing themselves, whining about the president and his racism. The plus side about the area is some of the least ground to cover, meaning you'll be hit hard, and there'll be a need to drill on the other side of the West or a little little bit. What's the world? Uh, fickle. They could be swayed with a bit of hammering hard. Problem is, it's a hell of a lot of ground to cover, and it's a lot of resources, a lot of time. And the worst comes the worst. It's a lot of times it's a loss. We're heading west. Get some sunscreen, LeMay. We're heading west. We're going to hit the west hard. Dinner in downtown, always brother. Is there any other choice? I ride like in my suits. Are you what's uh, well? Great Plains. We get a couple of support in the Great Plains. Well, but this might give us some support. Well. Let's go. So, um, praise are boring as hell. Uh, I don't know what suits are. It says the Great Plains. Our Rust Belt goes it well. Yeah, we can win the Rust Belt, I think. I think we can win the Rust Belt. Let's increase the MPP unity. So governor resegregates his state. Um, the governor of Arkansas has announced that he will be reinstating segregation to say overall fall was passionate support of segregation. The president Wallace declared that Wallace be blessing with local business to restore separate white and black facilities. When ordering formally desegregated schools to remove all non white students, immediately his declaration will not meet cheers of crowd waving press segregation Confederate banners. So I think surprised the president Wallace is he had no direct blessing from the governor to source segregation so soon. Not ever bury segregation or assertion have been removed with the Brown versus Board still technically in place. An extremely legal problem. Naturally, as the governor's degree has been sparked protests of civil rights activists across Arkansas. Fierce outcry from black parents who have children suddenly found themselves turfed out of school. Segregation is a delicate matter in the current age of America and follows clear my many issues indeed. He jumped the gun. This could cover problems indeed. Water classes in Europe. This is the beginning of something larger. Well. Government to speak. I, be, oh, I think the Iberian government Franco may come back. Franco may come back. Well, six three series for the world history books. Prices in Nanjing, pray they survive. Get back in your place. Black students to fight governor, get follow us on the phone, we need to talk.
last thing I want to read now. <laughs> Probably should have read that. <laughs> so let's read that. I don't know why I'm skipping it. I'm going to read it. It's like I read the other one. It's good to read. Who doesn't like reading? Reading's reading is fun. Reshaping history. Fear not the path of truth for lack of uh, can't blame people towards them. For one bit of hope to hold on to. Black students fight governor amidst the resegregation of Arkansas schools. Our institution has chosen to buck the trend. It seems the school because the governor follows a great deal of consternation once before. Little Rock Central High in its 50s was a state of much further inflation. Brown versus Board Fawbos had personally attempted to resist the desegregation of Arkansas by physically blocking black students from entering the building before he was removed under direct control from or, for direct order from President Eisenhower. Now it's thrown aside once again. After a bitter argument between black staff, black students, and their parents, with some encouragement from some of the sympathetic teachers, the African American kids were allowed to re enter um, the school in defiance of the governor's orders. They have some declared that they are right no matter what. No good ignorant racist pig may think it's one student put it. Governor Fawbos reportedly maintained medically concerning the National Guard who forced to move the students in such as large. This is Galvin very very quickly. Get Fawbos on the phone. We need to talk. Um, one angry man. Brazil, Rain Fury, Governor Fawbos calling his actions rather childish, potentially damaging, and caused segregation across America. Fawbos was apologetic, jumping gum, and insisted he had no intentions of backing down, pointing out what he did was to have sent National Guard as per Wallace's reforms, a fact that was also accepted bitterly. The two eventually discussed how to prevent the situation from responding to control. Fawbos insists that he had experienced some experience handling matters on his own which is why Wallace has remarked how had worked out so amazingly how worked out so ma amazingly so far. Wallace demanded that Fawbos allow him to put the National Guard in federal control for the operations to better manage things, prevent things from accidentally. He also suggested reinforcing the ranks of reserves from the U.S. Air for Airborne Forces, believing that the presence of deter protests convinced him to back down quickly. Now, as Fawbos turned into questioning why a man determined a DXO system would consider sending in military force, they argued a half girl with a Necessary solution for the decision was made. Uh, leave the guard under state control. No, keep. No, the laws believes in states' rights. Damn it! <laughs> you know what I mean? The laws believes in states' rights. Damn it! He believes in the states' rights, so he's gonna leave under state control. Decrease in poverty, a toast to our economist. I want the name of Wallace Fine Cross My Country. Antara Soils Candy works through Congress, the United States of America, a land of countless prosperity and endless varieties, found itself near a political standstill following the events of our government today. There was within Congress all halls of Washington, D.C., Senate moved by Professor George Chu Wallace, approved by American National Resources with Earth Asia Cult, so called Antara, repeal law against the civil rights, nullifying its legal effects in Congress. Countless citizens of the future war fear as the all this here completely changed. President Wallace and the entirety's cabinet issued a full summation regarding the victory within Congress, the SDSU of the Civil Rights Act. When the issues of President Wall's campaign eventually succeeded in becoming what President Wall's the United States in a land of co culture, tradition, moral values, meanwhile obstructing Americans' rights to enact these pillars of culture, such as segregation, is a direct obstruction of the American dream itself. Maintaining segregation and putting it into the Civil Rights Act was the dr drastic issue I declared to solve within my presidency and solve the issue I did in the Civil Rights Act as a crowning achievement for all my administration and I. Re recent reports indicate marches throughout all of Montgomery. I remember cheering the Alabama president in his su success against the Civil Rights Act. Others, however, maintain a sense of terror and dread as they think of about a future without the Civil Rights Act. Notable instances their entire family is African Americans locking themselves away in their home. America's home, just for any other red blood American gets to, gets to say it's in their home. And it seems that the head of our household decided America's children and so gave you security who were not eating, who would not come back for, come, to come back in a long, long time. Can, we can continue appealing. Okay. For segregation through the legislation. Well, 
me constantly bickering, but that's okay. We, we got the. Um, blackmail the Democrats. What a little black man among friends. He's giving me hell of a right if he doesn't comply. Pleading to progressive wing. Stand off at Central High. The more it's a little rock high school arrives at the town, the more I think National Guard is already waiting for the National that Guard way through students turning away. Guard outrage quickly. Students with parents throwing their voices, tones angry, words spread throughout the game. Scenes are reminiscent of the most heated days of the civil rights movement. Crowd demand equality and justice yelling. Yeah, but as the clock struck 12 in the Arkansas afternoon, brought a crowd of fewer pitch, a small group of counter protesters arrived to hurl about abuse at their demonstrators with only added attention facing this cognitive of the National Guard slowly began to lose their patience. In the midst of the Little Rock tinderbox, all that were taken against you a single spark. Please don't do anything stupid. On the, the tragedy of Central High. The shots were heard around America. After, after accusations, student protesters and National Guard became increasingly intense. Prominent activists marched in the forefront, yelling, rallying cries to face as assembled troops, activists, and their strongly followers become more and more impetuous. The demands were intrigued, became more and more forceful. One of the guards, and being increasingly twitchy, as one leader approached him as he cried out for equality, he snapped. Oh, God. Um. On the back step. Um, anxiously, some of his fearfully possibilities is black man and exposed the bastard. The death of Joseph Candy, his dynasty lives on. We won't fall on their terms. A fire burns, spreads. Shadow tragedy, this is terrible. This is the end of my presidency. I am. The fingers pointing at both high and low. Governor Falvis is naturally taking a lot of the blame. Currently, our fiercely resisting demands are resigned, but the media, most part, pointing at daggers at present walls. The ugly face segregationist. For most part, the ugly face of segregation are revealed. Walls overseas massacre of children. There's some headlines being sore in these countries. President segregation looks blamed, encouraging catastrophe. Riots like these have not been seen since the deficit of rights days and broken out across the South and North both. You may call the presidential of President Wallace allowing Governor Falvis for use in the National Guard by allowing the attack dog of Falvis to use National Guard against peaceful demonstrators. Wallace's lack of responsibility on worse propensity to segregation or ability to wreck mayhem against their political opponents. The burning heat across the country is roughly in every branch of government. This is terrible. Well. Sorry to say, Wallace, he may not be here for too long. Our darkest hour. Arkansas demands investigations. Arkansas demands investigation. Lock it all down. People need to hear our side of the story. Congress won't find anything. Calm down. Vacuum. Oh well, impeachment seems to be going. The students testify, kid. I never, never said I did. The guards didn't testify. Still didn't hear my name there. House decides for articles of impeachment. House of Fights for Uncle Impeachment. Um, damn criminals in the house. Um. On the high ground. So we're going to blame it on the people there. On the high ground, point for Wallace. Point one for Wallace. They're winning. They're winning the case for us. 
Let's have the fight. Bell tolls, only time can tell now. Wolves on the hunt. Wolves on the hunt. Um, American, American education has been widely become, um, We don't need them, right? Sadowski. Discussions with the Democrats. Better not play with fire, right? Vote of fate, so it's a better have won this round. Well. Well, fire the fire the fall. American society. Well, political power. Minus 200. The Chief Justice Boom. That's the chain the chamber. The official vote. Guilt of innocence. From final guards and President George Wallace. When collected a final estimate. The President Wallace found himself in a mix of dread, anger, and feeling sadness. As long as I to stand next to him, all the attorneys nervously, accessory, Dr. Salsi, men could care the hardly guess what they heard. Two think for guilty. Followed by more numbers returning guilty. Former President or former President Wallace's heart sank deep into his chest upon hearing a lies falling Chief Justice's fat mouth, prompting a man to lower his head and table to set the President of the United States for the first time in history, formally moved from office of the trial initiated by the House of Presidents. In the United States Senate, for what miscommunication in the middle of disaster, former President Wallace has been exhorted the building Senate and could dismiss the trial proceedings and excellently conclude outside that microcosms in the United States where half the crowds are cheering. Citizens were moved for Wallace for his presidency while the others appeared silent, seemingly destroyed over the loss of Wallace. In the White House, several men worked to help gather the president's belongings, personal effects from the White House. Side Wallace like, shook the hands of his close cameras and hardly bring himself to the rest of the you know, face of face America. The president, George C. Wallace, the leader of the far right MPP, the strongest ma strong man in American politics, forced out of office by law. Final access to the White House, Wallace shook hands with soon to be president Chris Lane, his former running mate, vice president, before leaving his wife, Lauren May, the sent arrived home back in Alabama. George and Lorraine lie down in bed in Montgomery, watching the president. I swear on my dues, the president said. I swear I'll fight the mistakes of the Wallace administration. I settled the great resignation. I can only hope and remain to be a better man standing for President George Wallace. Wallace was turning the television, rolling over, go back to sleep. And we have Curtis in. Oh my gosh, this is um a lot we can do. Um, we can do a lot. Um. It looks like, um, we have three years to do it. Um... We're gonna go down here, um... Huh. We're gonna go with bite off the cigar, bite off the cigar. Cog's turn. The Iberian government looks like Franco has come back from the dead. Chris LeMay is no politician, engineer of education, Air Force commander by vocation. LeMay's only earthly concerns were with bombs landing. He never had a passion for domestic matters, nor sure should give a shit to shake hands and kiss babies. And thanks to Wallace and the PG move, while first American history finds itself at the helm of the nation turmoil facing domestic threats that can't be solved with saturation, bo with saturation bombing. So, President LeMay is bound to his duties. He's commanded and faithful, exceeding his constitutional responsibilities, as well as a fish out of water. Curtis LeMay. Someone told Curtis LeMay in 1960 they'd be president in the next few years. He did laugh in the face of them so called damn fool. And yet, in their seeking office, LeMay finds himself in the office and he heals with George Wallace's disastrous presidency. 
notorious for his Colin's 1964 campaign about bombing Africa took, took back bombing Africa back to the Stone Age. The former Air, Air Force commander was considered a political liability, but many commanders of all never to apologize. The major role in the administration has been addressed. Events concerned. This is now involving America's nuclear capabilities. Now the departure of Wallace, he has finally mistaken position on the issue of segregation and trauma by potential enemies and tasked with healing the wounds of the nation. Clear skies for LeMay will be short in the coming days. Still, President LeMay takes these threats in a remarkable stride the storm or make it through in late crisis in 1943 saw the greatest threat, threat to be in American history riding out the storm of control of the heavy bomber see a chance to summon the decisive action hill nation going forward the president is absolutely not one to four think Curtis Lemay not four and the turmoil Curtis Lemay couldn't care well I think the best thing we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna finish this and we are going to do nothing and we're gonna end the episode after this new Curtis Lemay the sun And then we're going to end the episode here. But it's been fun with you guys. It's been a whole lot of fun, I will admit. Um, um, anyway, but it's been a lot of fun with you guys. It's been the past hour and 27 minutes. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have fun. Bye.